Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard and today I'm going to be showing you my Royal Paladin Blaster Premium deck. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys this deck because uh, it's my current favorite uh, premium build for Royal Paladin. Uh, I like it more than the Alfred build because I like Blaster's consistency and I also like uh, how it kind of reminds me of the Blaster deck from G-Era with uh, Peace Saver Gancelot and Blaster Exceed. So I want to show you guys uh, my build for it. So starting up, we got Wingle Brave as our forerunner. So Wingle Brave, it's always been good. It's uh, when it boosts a blaster and hits, um, you can move it to soul and search your deck for any blaster, add it to your hand. So we got a bunch of targets, which is basically mostly the entire deck. So, you know, your grade ones and your grade twos, you're gonna find any grade three you need to ride and finds you stride farther if you need that as well. So Wingle Brave, always good. Next up is four copies of Messianic Lord Blaster. So we're running Messianic Lord because it is a blaster with a gift, and it's got that 13k base. So it's got the first skill, which is during your turn, if you have six different blasters, this gets the original power and crit of all your rear guards. So if you got your six blasters right when you ride it, and your opponent doesn't have a PG, and you swing, they're pretty much going to take, like, six damage, seven damage. So you can win that turn, which is really fun. <laughs> and um, the other skill is when you drive check with it, if there's a blaster, you can call it to the rear guard circle. So if you got five blasters and you need one more and you drive check a sixth one, you can call it. And since we run a lot of different blasters in this deck, we're kind of like, uh, kind of running, have a higher consistency of seeing different blaster names, so we don't have to worry about that. And uh, other than that, it's really there for the Force Marker, the Blaster name, and for um, that 13k booty. That's about it. So next up for our Grade 3s is our other ride. If we don't hit uh, Messianic Lord, we can go into Blaster Blade Exceed. So Blaster Blade Exceed, it doesn't have a gift, but uh, its stride skill is if you stride into a G-Unit with Saber in its name, you can counter Blast 1. Search your deck for a Blaster Blade and add it to your hand. Or a card with Blaster Blade in its name. So you can search for Exceed or you can search for Blaster Blade itself. So that's pretty cool to have access to. It also has a good regard skill. And it's it's generally the only other Blaster unit that you really want to ride. Uh, you can run uh, Exculpate just for like the 14k base. You can run Arc Saver if you really need to, but you won't really get a lot of blaster effects off, but it is an option. But I really do like having Exceed as my other uh, ride just because the stride skill is good. And it also has a good rearguard skill, which is when it's placed, you can retire a grade one or greater rearguard on your opponent's field with kind of last one. So for Exceed. And lastly, for grade threes, we're running one copy of New Style Blaster Lou. It is a blaster. Uh, there's only one of it, so there's more different blasters going on. Uh, when it's placed on banner rear, but most 100% of the time going to be rear, uh, you choose a card of Blaster Blade from your drop zone, put it on the body deck, and this gets 5k, so it helps you recycle blasters. And if you have a Vanguard with Blaster and same, it gets uh, plus 5 shield and intercept. So you can call it to the guard circle from hand or rear guard circle by intercepting with it. So it kind of acts like a grade 2, so also really good card. So that's it for grade threes. Next up, we got four copies of the dude that basically started it all, Blaster Blade. So Blaster Blade skills is on the Vanguard Circle, and you have four rear guards. He gets a crit. Uh, when he's placed, if you can blast Soul Blast, uh, you can choose your opponent's front row unit and retire it. So that can come in handy since you have a Blaster from Barkle to counter charge. So most of the time, it could be just a Soul Blast to retire, which is cool. And he has a 10k base, and you run four of it because you still have Floral Palette and Flogals to run, and you want to be able to restand those Blaster Blades because of that. So you want to see Blaster Blade. So next up, I am running three copies of Star Call Trumpeter. Yay! So why am I running this? Uh, because um, if we are going to go for that early game, like OTK kind of thing, uh, you want to be able to guarantee that you have different blasters, and that's what Star Call's for. So Star Call lets you call any blaster, uh, grade 2 or less, from your deck to a regard circle before Counter Blast 2. So Counter Blast 2 is a lot, and you might say, like, oh, just run the uh, 
star trumpeter from the legend deck, the one that's GB1, where you, and you have to place it from hand. Well, the only issue is that is you have to place it from hand, and uh, it's GB1, so that means you can't get it off until you stride, so I'd rather have this for more consistency. I run three of it because it's basically a trade-off for any blaster in your deck, other than grade three that you want, so you'll always find that missing blaster. And because of a uh, blast from Barkle, you can basically use this called Blast from Barkle, call a Blast Blade, and get a counter charge. So there's consistency in it. And also, if you call it out with Saint Twin Sword and then use Counter Blast 2 to call another unit, the these two, this unit and the unit it calls, gains the power from uh, Saint Sword's skill, where they get 5k for each face up G guard. So it helps you fill the board and gives you powerful columns. So yeah, Star Call's kind of underrated, and this, it's really good in this deck. So next up, we're running three copies of Blaster Rapier. So Blaster Rapier uh, helps you when you're trying to get, if you don't have six blasters and need like one more, you can call Rapier and then use its skill. Uh, what it does is if you have a Blaster Vanguard, when it attacks a Vanguard, uh, Blaster Arc Saver, but it's gonna be Blaster, uh, you check the top card of your deck and you put it on the top or bottom. So it's uh, got a little OTT in there and you just check top. You know, if you're looking for a crit, you can leave it on top. And if you're, or, you know, look for it. If it's a blaster and you need it, you leave that on top. So it's really good. It also has the skill, if you have six different blasters, uh, this gets plus 15k. And that even during your opponent's turn. So that's really cool. You have a 25k uh, beat stick. You know, it's pretty nice. Uh, we run through of it because it's actually a really good card. And you want to see more of it because it helps you with that little OTK and helps you find triggers. So, three copies of that. Next up, we got one copy of Blaster Dark. So in premium, you can run up to four copies of Blaster Dark in a Royal Paladin deck because Majesty Lord Blaster exists. So we're running one copy of V-Series Blaster Dark. Uh, skill is when it's on van or rear, you count lost one, your opponent chooses a rear guard and retires it. And then it has the van ability where if your opponent has no rear guards, you can uh, discard a card and get twin drive. So this is really helpful if you're playing against something like, I don't know, Gold Paladin, and, you're, and your opponent uh, attacks you, they give you damage, and you use Wingle Brave's skill, like let's say you swung, I guess, I don't know, it doesn't matter, let's say you had this as your grade 2 ride target, and um, you went first, and they damaged you, you can ride Blaster Dark, Count Blast, and retire their Kirif, and then you just basically stop their whole combo. Most likely... If they anticipate that you have a Blaster Dark on the off chance that you do, they probably won't give you a damage. But it comes in handy, you know, if it's in your opening hand. And if they have no rear guards, you get Twin Drive. So that's really cool. You can revolutionize Vanguard. Last for Grade 2 is one copy of Lou. Uh, Lou, it skills if it's boosted by Blaster from Barco or Floral Paladin Flogel. You can counter Blast one, move it to the soul, search for a Grade 2 unit with Blaster in its name, and call it and it gets 3k. So this helps you basically search for any missing blaster grade twos that you might want. And that was my phone, so you guys don't have to worry about that. If you thought that was you getting a text. Um, yeah, so it helps you find any missing blaster grade twos you need. Uh, you usually call it out for blaster blade since you probably have blaster from Barkle in the same column to get that counter charge to repay its cost. And you know, it's kind of it's basically just like replacing any grade two blaster, so might as well. Next up. We're going to grade ones. So we got three copies of Blaster Friend Barkle. So Blaster Friend Barkle's skill is uh, if you have a Blaster Vanguard and you place Blast Play in the same column as this unit, uh, you get to counter charge ones. So pretty simple. Still a very good card. It has a Blaster in its name, so you can search it. It counts or has a different Blaster. You can boost with it with Wingle Brave. You can search it out with Wingle Brave. Search it out with Star Call. It's good. I'd run it at four, but we want different blasters, so I want to kind of like keep the pool kind of like open to having a lot of different blasters. So next up, we're running two copies of Blaster Javelin. I originally ran one copy of Blaster Javelin because I was like, oh, I only need one of this. And um, but what ended up happening was I noticed I really didn't have a lot of blaster grade ones for search targets. And Blaster Javelin a lot of times came up as like, oh, I'm really looking for Javelin. And it kind of ends up in my damage or my drop. And I'm just like, oh, that sucks. And I got to really rethink some things. So I decided to up it to two. And it's been working out. So what Javelin does is uh, if you have, doo -doo -doo, where is it? If you have six different Blasters, uh, when it boosts, you choose your opponent's rigor and your opponent's front row and bind it. 
And then when it boosts, if you have a Vanguard or Blaster Arc Saver, it gets plus 2k. So it's a 10k booster basically all the time. And if you have the six different blasters, you can buy in one of your opponent's front row. So it's, it's always a 10k booster, and it's a blaster. You search it out, you can search out a star call for a column, make it an 18k column with uh, Santa Twin Sword with those power ups. That's plus a lot of power to that column, depending on how many face up G, G units you got. So, really good card. Uh, next up, got Blaster Dagger. So, Blaster Dagger is also really good because if you have six different uh, blasters, everything gets boost, so your grade twos can boost as well. Um, the other skill is when your Vanguard Blaster Arc Saver hits, you just bounce it back to hand. So if you search it out, call it, something your Vanguard hits, you just bounce it right back, you got hand again, and just a different blaster. Pretty good. Uh, lastly, for blasters, one copy of Blaster Raper Laura. Laura. It's just a, a one of blaster. Helps with like diversifying the pool of different blaster names. It has resist, and as other skills, if you have King of Knights Alfred in the same column, it gets plus 1k. We're not writing Alfred, so that doesn't really matter. We're just we're trying to run more blasters, so just a one of. Next up, two copies of Stride Fodder, uh, Sizzlis. Um, it's just Stride Fodder. So we are running only nine grade threes, but um, most of them we're searching out and pulling out of the deck and calling them. So... You want to, like, when you're twin driving and drive checking, you want to look for Stride Fodder to help you get them strides going because you're going to be striding as much as you can in this deck. Uh, only running two just because we still want to see a lot of different blasters. And lastly for grade ones, I am running two copies of Strong Knight uh, Raonia or Ro Ronoria. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, her skill is uh it's the pg from the trial deck it's when it's placed you discard card in your hand and can't be hit so pg i'm deciding to run this uh along with draw trigger pgs because i want to be able to search it out with marin the g guardian little little great sage marin uh you search this out and you can pg and i want to be able to do that more than once or if one goes to damage i want to guarantee i have another one so yeah this card's good i like pgs i can search out from my deck and call to the guard circle. Be be good. On to triggers. We got four copies of Amulet Pure Eagle. It's the crit from Premium Collection. So what it does is when your Vanguard attacks, uh, you put this in the soul, draw a card, uh, choose one of your Vanguards, it gets 10k, and, you know, that's it. It's kind of like the Hearthmelt clones, except it's GB1. So uh, what I like to do with this is, because um, you, you know how uh, Santa Twin Sword is to be boosted, you can boost with this, use Twin Sword's skill, uh, you can call out some stuff, and then you can use this to move it to the soul afterwards, free up some room if you need to, if you're going to call more things or whatever. Like, I don't know. I actually really don't know. I don't know what you would call to the back row behind the Vanguard, but it's a thing you can do. Uh, also, freeing up columns while you're doing that stuff is pretty cool, and it's also a trigger with the skill. So yeah, that's a thing. Next up for triggers, running four copies of Floral Paladin Flogel. Because we are running Blast Blade in the deck and we have uh, force markers to abuse, we can um, use that with Restanding Blast Blade over and over again. It's always been good. Uh, you have Counter Charge Engine in this deck with uh, Blaster Friend Barkle. Uh, not as much because we can Counter Blasting a lot with Saint of Twin Sword and with um, Star Hope or Star Call, I mean, excuse me. But uh, it's there. And you can take advantage of it. Uh, if you really don't feel like you're going to be using this, you can cut this down to like three, throw in another V trigger if you want. But I wanted to stick with the four just because it's always been a really good card in these blaster decks. So next up, uh, for my last PGs, I'm running two copies of Flash Shitty Salt. And the other two are just regular draw triggers. Uh, instead of running the four... Flash of the Assaults, uh, you can't call it Flash of the Assault with Little Great Sage Marin, because Great Sage only calls out Grade 1 or Greater units. So, uh, I want to be able to call the PGs from the deck, so I have two of the Grade 1s and two of the Flash Shields. And because I still like draw triggers in this deck, I don't think this deck can be super crit heavy. I do feel like you still want to draw some cards. Um, so I wanted to run four draw triggers, so we got two Margles. Yeah. I like V-triggers. V-triggers are cool. 
And next up, I'm running two copies of the V Heal Trigger and two copies of Remedy Angel for counter charging. We do counter blast a lot in this deck, and uh, you got to make up for it with Barkle, and that not always necessarily helps out. So having the Remedy Angels help out with the counter charging is nice. But I don't want to run four just because we are running um, Floor Pod and Flogel as well. So too many 5K triggers, kind of eh, whatever. But I feel like the two are just fine. So we're just sticking with the 2-2. Two, two. So that was it for the main deck. Let's get into the G-Zone. So we're running two copies of Saint of Twin Sword. Or Divine Knight of the Twin Absolutes, Saint of Twin Sword. So what this does is um, when it attacks while being boosted, like the other Twin Sword, you countless one, choose anything from your G-Zone face down, turn it face up. You search your deck for up to two grade twos and call in the rear and shuffle your deck. So super simple. The other skill is uh, when your rear guard is placed from the deck, it gets plus 5k for each of your face-up uh, units in G-Zone. So the later the game goes on, the more profitable this gets. Uh, it combos really well with uh, Star Call Trumpeter because the things you call uh, with Star Call, because it is a grade 2, you can blast 2 and you can call like a grade 1 blaster, and you can make a call in that way. Uh, it works really well with Lou because if you use Lou skill and move it to the soul and you search out like, I don't know, Blaster Dark, Blast Dark also gets power on top of that, so you're making more multi-attacks that way with a lot of power. So this card's really good. It's a good early game stride and good late game stride too. So two copies of Gansalot Peace Saver, because it's always been really good. Quad drive and a free counter charge is always nice. So if you have a heart with Alfred or Blaster, when it attacks, you get counter charge and drive plus one. And then if you have a face-up card in your G-Zone, it gets an additional crit. So Always good first stride. And the other skill is G-Zone, face up. During your turn, uh, I believe it's all your units with Blast Blade and their names get resist. So that means your Blast Blade and Blast Blade Exceeds have um, resist, which is really nice. And so you don't have to worry about those things getting header around it or uh, Denographin. That's not really too much of an issue in the meta right now. But, uh, you know, Ganslot's always been good. So next up for the Greed 4s is two copies of Alfred Holy Saver. I don't really go into this a lot. Uh, not going to lie, it's mostly flip fodder half the time. But the other half of the time, um, I will use the skill for, like, if I want a fifth drive check, I can um, go into this, give the skill to uh, Blaster Blade or Blast Blade Exceed. And, you know, since we have V-Triggers, the triggers get bigger, and I might want to go into it. But... It's always kind of iffy. Going into this to just five drive checks is kind of wonky, unless I have a lot of counter blast to abuse Floral Pallet and Flogo along with it. Uh, but it does work well with um, Blaster Rapier too, so I can check my drive checks before you know doing all five of them. But it's there, you know. It's in the G zone. I can go into it when I do and don't want to go. So one copy of Fetus. Uh, it's there because of. Um, there's the room's kind of wonky right now, and Fetus lets you flip anything to uh, to search. So if you don't have a counter blast and you can't really do anything, but you need to find a specific grade two uh, for whatever reason, you can um, use its skill to flip a G unit face up, discard a card, search for a grade two, and um, that's basically it. If it has a brave ability, you draw, but nothing has brave. The GB three only works if you have another copy of Fetus face up. And I only have the one fetus, so I'm not really going to be using the GB3. And so it's basically, fetus is basically flip fodder. Next is uh, Knight, uh, Divine Knight of Condensed Light, Albius Avalon. So Avalon is really good because uh, you're going to be G flipping a lot uh, because you want to face up G units for uh, Twin Swords, so you'll probably hit GB8 pretty easily. So you can, what it does is GB8, when it attacks, you counter blast one, search your deck for five cards, and call them separate rear, and they gain 4k, and then this gets a crit. So what you can do is if you're on, whatever blaster you're on, whether it's um, MLB or Exceed, you can search for five different named blasters, and you can then pull off all the effects of the having the six different blasters. So you can call out... Uh, you know, daggers, javelins, and you can use, uh, get the extra power for uh, Blaster Rapier. You know, it, it's just like things that you can do. And since the columns get 4K on top of the Force Markers, 
you, you know, and the crit it gets, it can help push for games. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you have enough counter blasts, you can just search out multiple floral paladin flogals and just like abuse that one blaster blade over and over by attacking. So there's different things you can do depending on the situation you're in. So next is one copy of Agnos. I uh, don't really go into it, but free striding is always cool. So uh, its skill is when it's placed, you can counter blast so last one. If you do, you call cards from your hand to the rearguard circle as much as possible. So you have, if you have five in hand, no matter how many units are on your board, you have to call the five to fill up your board. Um, so it's really good if you used up a lot of your hand. Uh, what it does afterwards, after you fill the field, you draw three cards. So it's really good if you used up most of your hand, you want to call them and then draw three cards. Uh, the other skill is when it's face up in the G zone, you can stride for free, and you can't flip it you know, for skills, because that's too easy. Uh, it's just there for attack if I want to go into it, so it's nice. And next is one copy Ultima. Ultima is there because it's a finisher. It's a really good card. Uh, you basically put whatever triggers you want on the top of your deck, and the triggers are applied to all your units. Uh, it's really good for when you're stacking triggers on Blaster Blade. Floral Pout and Flogo is always a good card. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, Ultima is great. If you know you're going to win, just go on Ultima and win. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna go into our G Guardians. So I'm running two copies of Maskell. Uh, Maskell helps with uh, Twin Sword because for each face-up card in your G zone, you get more power. So what this does when it's placed, GB1, if you have a grade two in your front row, uh, or it's just a rear guard. If you have a rear guard in your front row, you flip a G Guardian face up and it gets 10K shield. So you, if you do this uh, twice and you have like uh, get the four or five face-up G Guardians that can help make Twin Sword powers really big. So having more copies of this, that extra 5k can make a difference. Next up is two copies of Little Great Sage Marin. So what Little Great Sage Marin does is um, if you have an Alfred or Blaster Vanguard, you can search your deck for a grade, uh, one or greater unit and call it to the Guardian Circle and it gets plus five shield. So uh, first of all, last one. So you can most likely you're going to be calling the PGs, but if you really don't need to, you can always call out the uh, javelins or the daggers since they have 10k shields. So that plus five could help with that as well. You can also search out targets that you know you don't need. Like if you're like, oh, I'm definitely not going to use Start Call Trumpeter, you can just search it out, guard with it, stuff like that. So it's always a good card to help you deck thin, and it searches PGs basically. And lastly, I'm running one copy of Great Flash Shield Assault. It's because your field is most likely always going to be full. Uh, and in, if you're not going to get board wiped, you can basically guard with this. And since you'll have the five rear guards, or four to five rear guards, you can just counter blast and get plus 20 to 25 shield added to it, which is cool. Um, this deck works a lot better than in the Alfred build because the Flogals go back in the deck, so you usually have like two rear guards left on the board. But since you have a bunch of different blasters in the name on your board for their skills, this you'll have more rear guards available for the skill. But other than that, it's mostly flip fodder for Maskell. And then one dismal. Uh, it's if my opponent's targeting a specific card and I for sure need to keep it, I can save it. Because uh, what it does when you place it on the guard circle, you give something resist and it can't be uh, targeted by your opponent's card effects or attacked. Basically makes it invincible. So protecting rear guards are cool. Um, but if I'm in a matchup where I know that's not important and I know I can find whatever, you know, if they attack a rear guard and then I know I can replace it, I'll just use it as flip fodder for Maskell. So, that was basically it for the deck profile. The main focus of the deck is if I go first, I want to go into a uh, Messianic Lord Blaster, drop my hand, use its skill to drive check into more blasters, and then, you know, deal all that damage. Hopefully they don't have a PG. If I'm playing against uh, Protect and they ride first, it's guaranteed I'm not going to get the skill off. So at that point I just go into um, Exceed, depending, and then um, just use Exceed skill to basically continuously guarantee me Stride Fodder, search me my Blaster Blade targets if I need to. Just it just consistency has always been this in this deck's favor and why it was always so good in the past. So I really do like the Blaster deck a lot. It's a lot of fun. So that was it for my deck. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in the next video. I'm Richard, and I hope you have a good one. Bye.